Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Mode. Last time, well last time we did a lot of crafting. We built up Hangman's Alley into something I'm much happier to call home. We've got this lovely little balcony, and my house, and where all the pleb sleepers, well, it's all utterly, utterly marvellous. And today, we're going to begin our journey south, though I've kind of been thinking about it, and I've come up with the things that we can do while we're going past. Crack open the switch to open up the door, and away we go. But before we begin our great journey south towards the glowing sea, I did remember I've got one thing I do technically need to turn in. I did one of the um, the killing people missions for the Brotherhood, so I'm just going to go and turn that into the night at Cambridge while I'm passing by. She kind of might as well, really. And I'll also pick up kind of two new Radiant Quests from those guys, because, again, why not if I'm literally passing by? I'm not going to go out of my way to do them, but... If, you know, I happen to be passing by a location where I can do a quick kill or retrieve, may as well get the extra money and experience. Keep it up, and I may start believing you got some real guts. Here, your payment. There we are, so 100 caps and 236 XP. Not too bad. So, cleansing the Commonwealth. Big John Salvage. Where is that? Would you believe it's actually to the south? I might actually be able to pass that later this part. Sure, why not if I happen to be going by? And where's the other one? Ready to recover another artifact? I am indeed, why not? So, quarter mastery and haptic drive. Ooh, super duper mart. Yeah, indeed, it is just the traditional super duper mart uh, very close by to Lexington. Honestly, I doubt I'm going to be heading that way anytime soon, so I might not do that one in a hurry, but if I'm ever passing by, that place is a good place for loot, so that's nice to know. And hello, who have I run into in here? Oh, you're one of my provisioners. Sorry, I got confused there for a second. Fine. Yeah, you're the one who I gave the short combat rifle to. So you're just, yeah, literally wandering backwards and forwards between... Uh, I sent you... Yeah, if you're a short combat rifle, you're between Starlight Express and uh, this place. Well, that's good. Good to know you made it. And then there's... Bloody hell, it's just busy traffic over here. Which one are you? Are you another one of mine? <laughs> I'm just flinging itself over, realising it can't fit down here, so if it wants to make it, it's going to have to kind of, you know, do a big running jump over the thing there. Where are you going? You're another one, aren't you? Are you going to... Wait, why did you just stumble? I just are you going back to, um... No, wait, hang on a minute. There should only be one person going to Hangman's... No, you're the person who sat in my seat! And I've decided to dispatch you out to Taffington Boathouse. Well, that's fine. You have fun over there. Except you get a Brahmin and that other woman didn't. All right, fine. That's good to know. Yes, indeed. Unfortunately, it's getting a bit misty today, which is a shame, but never mind. Now, let's actually pick up my power armor and head on our way. And now I've left and come back. Everyone's using all the seats I set down for them. That's nice. So, into our amazing armor we go. Titanium plated. This stuff is as tough as it gets. You cannot get any tougher than this stuff. It's beautiful. Now, how many fusion cores am I going to need to do this? And am I storing my fusion? I think they're down here, aren't they? I really hope they are. Yes, indeed, I've been storing my fusion cores with the rest of my ammo, because the game does call them ammo, which is, I guess it kind of makes sense. They can be used as ammo in, like, the Gatling laser. How many am I going to need to make it where I want to go. Uh, if I were to take, hmm, three or four, assuming I might find one or two while I'm going. I'll take four, I think. Four spares, because the one I've got in is only like quite low already. So I take that, and now I've got trade caravan set up. I don't really need to worry so much about uh, kind of, yeah, dumping stuff on the road. So I've kind of got plans in mind for where I can dump stuff as I'm en route. So let's head out this way. We can actually keep that door locked for once and we can just head out this way. Make sure to close the door behind me, of course. And we are starting off by heading to Good Neighbor because like you should always do in survive mode, I don't kind of want to like run directly to something. Instead, you should try and figure out what is en route to something that I'll be able to pass as I'm going by. And what I've realized is one of the things that's en route to, uh, well, heading south is the final part of the Silver Shroud. So I'm actually going to do the Silver Shroud now. So I'm going to start off by heading over to Good Neighbor and taking my armor. Now, is this where there's... I'm kind of like, those those flipping raiders who've been annoying me for flipping ages. I don't like these guys. You know what? You, I think, can go down nice and quick. Screw you. There you go. 
Now, the part of the reason I want to kind of grind up against these here raiders is you may notice, of course, that little star next to my critical meter. This is the first time I've actually been in combat since I took the first rank of critical banker. So I want to quickly store up a double critical. Because a nice double critical, that means even if I run into really dangerous things, I'm in good shape. You are... Can I even hit you? I'll give it a go. Why not? See if this is going to work. Yep, fine. And that indeed is up to now my nice double star. So now I can throw out a critical and a second critical and then probably charge up a third within a single VATS round very, very easily. So now I can get pretty much, if I'm kind of at full action points, I can get three, maybe even four. Yeah, if I've got two stored up, then I no, I probably won't be able to get up to a fourth. Actually, I might be able to. I might be able to get, yeah, four criticals in a single Vance round, which would be very cool. Except, of course, the most efficient way to do the Silver Shroud is, of course, to go and get what I need first. So, let's just go and grab all this stuff off this guy. Let's head in here and actually get all of the Silver Shroud's gear before we head over to Good Neighbor to actually speak to Kent. Quickly shoot the head off a monkey there. This area is also excellent, by the way, because loads of low-level enemies who will go down, and which gives you an excellent kind of uh, legendary chance. So I guess we're going to get, like, at least one legendary in here. And then you're going to die too. And then I know there's at least one more of you over there. Right, massive pile of them so far. No legendaries, but we've cleared out the first wave very conveniently. Ooh, Psycho Jet. You don't often see Psycho Jet in the wild. You normally have to craft it for yourself. That is interesting. Got Grognak's axe here, which is obviously... Actually, how valuable is it? Could I sell this? Um, oh. Uh, wait, 10 value 100. That's pretty worthless. Grognak's axe is kind of okay. Like, it's not desperately powerful, but it is nice that it causes stagger and bleed even before you've upgraded it. That's kind of nice. Tell you what, I'm going to leave my armor downstairs, actually. No point wasting cores just taking out ghouls. Do try and get, like, all the memorabilia too, by the way, because Ken gives you more money for them. So we've got this here lovely photo of the Silver Shroud. There's also, like, a script and a few other pieces dotted about. So try and get all of them just for extra money. Ah, finally got a flipping legendary there. A legendary Reaver showed up. It's in danger officially. Don't see it myself. Never mind. Picked up weakness as well, unfortunately. Fell a little bit ill. Now, what have you got for me? Acrobats! situationally very, very useful. Acrobat, yeah, reduces full damage by 50%. If you can get Acrobat in your left and right leg, they do stack to 100%, which means even outside of power armor, you are 100% resistant to full damage, which is fun, but not really, you know, it's, it's very rarely useful, but it is fun. So in this lodge room on the second floor, by the way, you can open this with the hubris office key that's on the first floor in kind of the boss's desk. Got yourself a script. Nice. No place to grab a quick nap, though. That's a bit of a concern. Oh, well, we're going to have to do this without a save. Now, if we're doing that, I'm getting rid of the weakness first. Okay. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Don't want to wait the glowing one at the back up. There should be one who's, like, over here. If I could just take him out with one silenced hit. Okay. Back off. One at a time. All right. Hidden. Perfect. We're going to have two, I think, in that room on the right. In theory, I could just get a Molotov. Ooh. That's a good point. There's a window right there. If I just put a fragmentation grenade through there, would that work? Would that actually go... It's not looking like it's registering it would go through, which is odd. Because it... uh, maybe there must... Uh, there must be glass there, unfortunately. Yeah, actual glass there. That is a shame. Now, there is definitely something over there. Maybe just toss a grenade there and see what happens. Toss another one. And maybe some more. And maybe one more on top of that. There we go. That should do some good work. That's cleared out at least one of them. At least one. I'm going to go over to slightly excited for the criticals. This is where I burn those criticals I've been storing. Now, where's the... The glowing one's hidden at the back. And he's normally pretty tough. As soon as he comes out, we need to throw all of our everything at him. Okay, both of these guys are dead. That's good. There's only one. I thought I saw a second in here. Interesting. Uh, okay, and I thought I saw a glowing one in here, but it must have just been the light. And we've got... Ah! You've come out. That's good. Then we've got... Ah! 
You've decided to just sit down, have you? Well, that's just lovely for me. There we go. And then just, yep, double critical headshot. And then everything else to the body. Critical number one. Nice. Critical number two. Nice. That's what you need the double criticals for. Double criticals for dealing with these bastards. Lovely. Caution. I didn't know there was another one in here. Right. Thing. Viable blood sample. Nice. I really hope there's not another one in here. The submachine gun prop around the back. Only weighs one. Nice. Deal with handcuffs. Good old useful handcuffs. The silver shroud costume. Obviously we'll be taking that. Marksman's powerful sniper rifle. I'll take that purely to break it down as soon as we get to good neighbour. Yes. Astoundingly awesome tails. 5% damage with the alien blaster. Pretty much worthless because the alien blaster is pretty much worthless. But oh, a burnt man-to-man -man comic. Dear oh dear. And an alarm clock. Decent bit of loot there. And then find a few bits and pieces. Uh, crumpled fedora. There's like three different types of fedora in this game. Crumpled, battered and worn. And mysteriously crumpled and worn won't take the weave. But yeah, battered will. All very odd. Uh, Grognak. I may well be able to sell that. Black Grim Glass has already got some of them. Oh. Grognak, how much is that worth? Very little. Worth very, very little. Indeed. Despite the fact it is amazing armour for the right run. Uh, yeah, it uh, weighs very little and has almost no worth. That's a shame. Right, that's good enough, and I think that's shown the advantage of Critical Banker right there, which is that glowing one would probably have just murdered me if I didn't have it, so that's good. Anyway, everything I want collected, hop back into the armour, let's move on to Good Neighbour. And bloody hell, apparently it's already flipping night. Uh, that day really got away from me quickly there. Alright, fine, we're just going to take the direct route to Good Neighbour, should be 100% safe, we've walked this many times before. Alright, pit stop to field scrap some guns on the weapon workbench that's right here in Good Neighbour. There we are, Marksman's powerful, that should give me some good stuff. What have we got? Oh yeah, eight aluminium, six screws, nice. Oh, you're not Irma. Nope, I'm just a person bringing you the Silver Shroud outfit and a whole bunch of other stuff too. There she is, pretty as the posters. The Silver Shroud costume herself. In memorabilia too? You're something else. Together with my gun, everything's all set. All right, nice. There you go. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. I could be Rhett Reinhardt or, or his butler, Jarvey Blake. But the Shroud is strong, capable. And there we are. we got a big pile of caps there over on the top left for handing over all the memorabilia. Looks like I get to be the Shroud. The costume and gun are yours. So you patrol good neighbor's streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. All right. So this armor is, yeah, that armor is okay. Basically, a full set of armor 4242 and the assassin effect on it. It's all right. It's not spectacular, but it's okay. Though plus one duty, plus one perception are fine yes, too. And indeed, I'm going to start off by leaving my armor here, because again, we're going to be doing a lot of running around, and I don't really want to be kind of using up my fusion cores doing that. We'll pick up the armor when we head down south. Until then, we'll do all of this as is. Or to be precise, we'll do it in the Silver Shroud armor. But not the rest of it. Just the Silver Shroud armor. Everything else I'm just going to keep as mine. Not least as I do actually want to kind of hear the uh, the male voice actors work with the Silver Shroud. I've heard it's actually quite good. So, target number one, Wayne Delancey. But though, of course, you know, the easiest thing to do would just be to uh, hit him with a sneak attack critical. Instead, let's go and chat to him in a dramatic voice. Your crimes have gone unpunished for too long. What the hell's wrong with you? Well, nothing a few bullets won't cure. You say this, but oh, he's got a big old gun. Right, everything in the head, please. Right, critical number one. Okay, and then just put a few more bullets in. We've got another critical ready to go. And he's dropped his gun. Marvellous. And in a moment, we'll be almost back up to a second critical again. Marvellous indeed. What did you have on you? A marksman's... Oh, another marksman's powerful sniper rifle. Nice. There we are. Calling card left. Calling card left actually between his legs. I don't know what people will choose to read into that. We shall see. Uh, All right, drug wow. deal around here. Target the number two. Guy. Can't remember if you can actually just buy and sell to him. Ask for a bribe, leave. No, just speak to the shroud if we can't buy and sell. Peddling poison to kids, are we? Today, you face 
The Silver Shroud! Uh... <laughs> who you say? Oh, for Christ's sake. Did Kent put you up to this? He keeps moaning about the poor little kids. What the hell, right? Tell you what. I'll pay you... Let's say 50 caps just to shut up about it. And, uh, maybe get Kent off my back. All right? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Threatens the Shroud. Stop selling to children, a miscreant, or face my wrath. Screw you. Waste the free. Right, back, 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 back. Grenade. And another one. There we go. And just mop up whatever's left. There we go. Just you. Get my critical back up. Marvellous. Grenades. I love grenades. Right. Calling card. Oh, yeah. This looks... <laughs> oh, it looks like they died in a lover's tryst. That's marvellous. Leave the calling card right there. Don't know where I shoved that. It just kind of disappeared and then his kind of legs twitched. I, I don't want to know where I just decided to shove that calling card. Okay. Third round. Speak to Whitechapel Charlie. Normally you have to speech check or bribe this guy, but if you actually do the speak as the shroud option, you do actually get the information for free, which is kind of cool. I do like how my character is already set up quite nicely as a superhero in disguise. With the goggles and the bandana, I truly am in disguise. It is not wise to stand between the silver shroud and righteous justice. <laughs> justice? <laughs> you mean to end her? In that case, if that's just south a good neighbour. The apartments in question are indeed incredibly close by, though I'm a bit nervous about the flaming car wreckage. Did that explode recently? I guess it mustn't. Yeah, I've passed through this area a couple of times, but looks like there's been recent firefight here. Okay, interesting. Yep, got pistol and grenades ready to go. Water Street Apartments. Should just be able to in a single vat run to take out everyone in here, hopefully. Where are the baddies? We just get one snipe off. Yep, fine. That's good. You over there. Okay, next up. Still in caution. There, she didn't know where I bloody am. And one of you thinks you do. Ooh, almost, but not quite. And then there we are. One easy shot for you. Critical. Make sure you go down. There we are. Now we're in danger. Okay, now just grind up a critical against you in two shots. Nice. Next up. At least one more still. Where are you? Where's the last one? There's definitely at least one more here. Oh, I see ya. Right. Critical. Dead. Get you down. Yeah, actually, I'm taking a lot of damage, of course, because I'm not wearing my usual armor because I want to speak as the Shroud. <laughs> This is the downside, of course. All this kind of special, unique armor, it is vastly inferior to stuff you can craft for yourself, which is a problem. Again, it would be much easier just to snipe her off, but let's see if she's got any interesting dialogue as the Shroud. You have taken your last life, villain. You stole my line. <laughs> and there we go. She's shooting. Just go for the headshots. We'll be fine here. And critical. And critical number two in a second. Actually, you know what? Let's use her to build up the critical instead. Kendra dies. Was unlucky. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Obviously, uh, the convenient uh, convenient level up there means I do actually get all my health back. Very nice. Contract uh, Shelly Tiller. This is the part of the quest that would take you up to the little kind of military base where I've been in the past. But yeah, no need to head up that way now. It's not an urgent rush. Sturdy combat armor chest piece is nice, but I've already got assassin on my chest, so I will leave it at that. Another calling card left. Job done. Though, on our way out, may as well level up as well. Now, what do we need to do on this occasion? Ah, we do have Demolition Expert 4. That's flipping powerful and available very early on. Level 34. In fact, I must have missed that a couple of times. I didn't realise I actually had that available a couple of times already. That, or Critical Banker 2, is obviously available right away. So I can actually have two stored critical hits. That is pretty bloody strong. Yeah. Yeah. That might be worth having a think about, actually. Which one I want to go for? Yeah, Critical Banker will be more generally useful. Can't take three. Three is actually locked to the much higher level of level 43. So that's a little way off just yet. But now, now I'm going to be able to have all of the bloody critical saved up. There we are. Go and have a meet with Hancock as the Shroud. This is actually the first time I've really said hello to Hancock since I entered the town. I've not really bothered to go and speak to him since. That's interesting. 
every time I've done this previously, like, I've already done some work with Hancock, so he's, like, you know, already a little bit friendly to me. This time he's not gonna be, which is gonna be... Ooh. Hello, just before we speak to Hancock, I see tons of purified water. Lovely. This neighborhood is ill. I am the cure. You're priceless. Like the Silver Shroud himself walked out of a comic book into my den. Just priceless. You've been busy scaring people, bashing in a few faces. I respect that, so far. But I gotta ask, one freak to another, why the getup? Many have sought to pierce the shroud to no avail. You just don't stop. Stay you, pal. The lowlifes you took out all belong to the same asshole. And that asshole's planning some old-fashioned revenge on you. You dig? Fortunate for you, I want Sinjin to take a dirt nap. He's taken two bit raider outfits and made them scary. Small fish now, but if left alone. I just like how much Hancock really likes me being the Shroud. That's marvelous. He will be judged for his crimes. Trust me, he needs a lot of judging. Got a lead on two of his own. Smiling Kate and Northy. Smiley is gathering a posse to take you out. And Northy is just running scared. Hired himself some goons and is holding up in prospect. Just keep piling those body bags up until you find the location of the big guy himself. All right. Sinjin thinks he's above judgment, but no one is safe from the Silver Shroud. Don't get killed. You deal with Sinjin, and I'm inclined to show you some gratitude. Okay, very, very nice indeed. I actually, I particularly like how the male voice actor, when he's been given these lines, like, occasionally just breaks slightly. It's not all, like, dramatic, just occasionally he just kind of speaks slightly normally, then he tries to recover. It's quite good. So, couple of people to kill, and some of these are tougher fights, and I'm almost certain they shoot on sight and don't have special dialogue for the Shroud, so I've gone back into my normal armor, so I've got a lot more protection going on. So Smiling Kate's very close by to Bunker Hill. She'll be closest in that case, and I'm pretty sure I know the, the simplest way there, which is if I cut past Mass Fusion right here, and then head up, I'll hit Cabot House, can cut through to the river and cross the bridge pretty much straight away to get me north and up to Bunker Hill. Then I should be pretty much right on top of her, which is good. Now if I happen to run into something soft and squishy en route, that would be far from the worst thing in the world, because then I can grind myself up to three critical hits in a row. Three critical hits in a row, I might be able to, on a full Vance round, be able to get five critical hits off if I were to ever need to, which would be rather excellent. So yeah, straight past Cabot House, turn right here, and this bridge takes me pretty much directly to Bunker Hill. Marvellous. Now be very careful, because I'm actually getting... Ooh, I'm getting closer than I'd like already. Uh, where is she? She feels really close to where I am. Can I get a, a lock on her location here? 35 meters. 35. Feels like she must be just around the flipping corner. Where is she? Can I... Can I... Where is she? Actually, I wonder if I could get a shot from inside the town. That'd be fun. Right, just climb up the scaffolding here and see if we can actually see anything. Uh, go over to really excited. 38 meters in. Oh, yeah. This is just perfect. Problem is, which one's her? I think that's her right there. If I just go over here, then just fire. There we go. That is indeed at least one person very dead. Now we just climb out of the way. And if they charge over here, presumably, they're a raider gang. The game will be totally like, well, I've killed one of them. It looks like I've killed the wrong one there, but never mind. If they're a raider gang, I can't imagine that the flipping bodyguards around here would allow them into the town. Right, let's see which one we got. Aha! Got Smiling Kate herself right there. She goes down. Lovely. Smiling Kate's dead there. Marvellous. Though I think I need to uh, search her body in order to get everything that I need. Now, Sinjin's gang. Got all these criticals right here. Critical. That's one dead person. And then we got one raider. I'm in danger. He's coming over here. Yeah, I kind of want to see if maybe the entire town will actually help me out. 
Uh, if nothing else, I'd like him to get a bit closer to me anyway. Any of you going to get involved? Or are you going to, like the super mutants, are you not? Oh, you are allowed to be somewhere around here at least. Uh, let's go for your, yeah, I've got a good shot at your leg. Grind up those criticals. Oh, you're already dead. To be honest, I was kind of hoping you'd have more health than that. Alright, got two criticals stored up there on my way to the third. And that is, what was that giant rumble? The screen just shook. I don't like that one little bit. <laughs> what causes a giant rumble in this game? Also, does this settlement not have any flipping workbenches? I don't think I've ever actually done any work here before. And now I'm trying to find their flipping any workbenches they've got to, to start with. I mean, I know you can make this settlement yours if you do some extra work for them. But I would have thought they'd have at least something to start off with. Like, a town without any workbenches is pretty terrible. So where the heck is... Yeah, I'm not sure where their workbenches are, if anywhere. No, I've checked all the houses. I honestly can't see any. Though I did notice that Cricket is currently in attendance here. I may well go and have a word with her, see if she's got anything good going on. And no one's got anything good, or the few good things there are I can't even come close to affording, so never mind. Instead, let's just go and loot the rest of these bodies. I'm sure it's going to be Smiling Kate herself that's got the good stuff on it. There we are. Left a calling card right on her ass there. And I swear she has... Oh no, it's just because I assume, obviously, it's whichever one you, um, yeah, whichever one you kill last is going to have the information on them. Of course it is. Because, uh, yeah, previously I always just happened to have done Northy first for whatever reason. Right, no clear, obvious way I'd go. Simply to kind of pick my way through the city, heading in this direction. Ooh, might not necessarily want to be heading exactly in this way, mind. Right in front of Super Mutant Central, but... Clear size of Sumi. Can I just go around the side here? Oh, oh, yeah, just around the back. I think there might be some dogs back here, but it's not as bad as Super Mutants. When I say round the back, I mean I'm still exactly where I bloody was. All right, we're into we're into risky territory. Actually, you know what? We are getting close by to. Uh, other than bad TFL, obviously. Other than bad TFL, we're getting close to Ada and Automatron. I may as well kick off Automatron while I'm literally passing by. Right, there's bad TFL. That hasn't regenerated its raiders yet. But yeah, somewhere around here, this is going to be... Yeah, this here is leading up the area leading up to the church. There's a... Ooh, protect on Scourge. That is... Presumably part of Automatron, in fact. So let's just keep a distance from that. Don't want to pick fights with robots from Automatron unless you absolutely have to. Straight through here... And then that bridge here means, yeah, this open land over here is where Ada is. May as well go and have a chat with her now. In fact, the fact that she's, like, survived and moved on might well be an XP dump right away, which would be convenient. Yep, Ada's alive. No sign of any of the trouble. In fact, Northy is incredibly close by to Ada. This is incredibly convenient. Marvellous. I'm glad I remembered to do this now. I mean, we've already got flipping Rust Devils and whatever on the map. There's no point not doing this now. And an extra fusion core. I will very gladly thank you. Now, having looted all of her dead friends, in fact, there's actually just a scavenger here. What hey are you there. doing here, my I'm good man? For trouble. There's enough junk around here for both of us. Uh, yeah, that's fine. You just help yourself. Ada, what have you got to say for yourself? My friends did not survive the attack. What a shame. I'm sure we can deal with this dreadful mechanist together or something. You have shown willingness to aid others. I ask that you please assist me in stopping this mechanist. I haven't actually aged you at all. In fact, I ignored you twice. And then you happened to win and I came back. I will follow and assist with your permission. Uh, no, not right now. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's say let's go and then I'll just send her back to Hangman's Alley to make sure she goes where I want her to. Yep, Mechanical Men is complete. Marvellous. There we are. Back to Hangman's Alley with you. Marvellous. And with her gone, I'm no longer over encumbered. Off she goes. I'm sure she can take care of herself. Now, Northy, meanwhile, is right over here, and her sleeping bags mean I was able to drop a save. Again, we've got a really, really convenient way of getting a, a look at some of these lads. Uh, 75. Oh, he's on the move. Why is he on the move? And why is there already gunfire? Something else is attacking Northy, and Northy's not that tough. I suspect whatever it is, especially if it's an automatron swarm, could all flip... I didn't go that way. Yeah, I suspect whatever it is could win. Quite easily, in fact. Uh, Raider Psycho. Ada over there. Oh, yeah. 
That indeed is a Protectron Scourge. The same one I saw earlier is just... <laughs> it's just walking through, murdering them. They're being utterly torn apart by it. No, don't stand here in the rads. Don't, no, don't stand here in the... Why can I not walk this way? Because there's a small door. Obviously, couldn't step over that. Let's not be bloody crazy here. Right, through here. This thing has just basically wandered through, murdering everyone. Time for it to go down, though, I think. There we go. Question is, where's Northy? Did Northy survive that attack? Because, oh my, this just walked through here, murdering them. Marvellous. That saves me from the risk of a lot of Molotov cocktails. Oh no, Northy looks like he was the only one that survived. Well, that's absolutely fine. Oh, he's tough. Mind? I didn't realise he was actually tough. I thought he would go down to a flipping... Yeah, that surprised me a little bit. You know what? Screw it. Let's just go in with three criticals and murder this bastard. Let's see how strong three criticals in a row are. Up on the roof. Directly above him. Get a free shot in. And this time... Oh, I don't even need to bother. Oh! Why is he so flimsy now? He was so not that flimsy before. Where are you, you bastard? No, you're not getting away. Come back here. There you go. I must have just glanced or missed him. He threw his gun away a pleasingly long distance. Yeah, I must have just, like, glanced him or missed him or something. Find the silver shroud. Some nice bits and pieces here. And now the game suggests I may wish to head back to Kent. Marvellous, but yes, Protectron Skirt that killed most of his men for me. Marvellous robot repair kit. Why the hell not? Ah, bloody conveniently, I've just joined up to the road that I passed by when I was heading to uh, the safe house Ticonderoga. So I know this area is perfectly safe. In fact, I know it is safe and not looted yet either. Eh, a few little bits and pieces, nothing too special there. The only way you get old in this job is assume everyone's out to kill you. I, I can see you doing that, given that you and the Brahmin and your friend Bodyguard are both just charging around like idiots at the moment. Are you going anywhere in particular, or are you just feeling like going for a run this evening while wearing no clothes? Alright, just the no clothes thing, got it. I left them behind a minute ago, and they've just caught up with me again. Where are they go- Oh, flip! They're apparently mine so- well, maybe there was one mine I never took care of there in the first place, but never mind. Um, yeah, they're just heading down there towards, uh, Boston Common. I don't know where the hell they're going in such a hurry, but what have you. Let's go figure out what happened to Kent, and I'm betting it's not good. And Irma's very upset about something or another. Irma, hold still for a sec, please. Oh, it's you. Oh, sugar. I told Kent all that hero stuff was going to get you both killed. If you want to see your friend alive, Shroud, leave me at Milton General Hospital. Don't do it, Shroud. It's a trap. Save yourself. There we are. Optional oh save Kent, but confront that bloke as the main thing. And obviously, as we're now heading south down to the hospital, it is indeed time for us to slip on the good old armour. If we're still allowed to, though, I'll quickly just grab some sleep over here in Hotel Rexford, because I kind of, if I rented a room earlier, it might still be within the 24 hours. That means I'm allowed to do it, because I am indeed tired, thanks to this new, uh, kind of smaller sleep cycle that exists in the game. So... Am I still allowed to do this? Yes, I am. Marvellous. Hop out the armor for a sec. Let's get a good night's sleep. We'll go after Kent in the morning. He'll be fine overnight. Then just a nice breakfast of noodles. There we are. That gets both thirst and hunger up very quickly. Hello. Who are you? Who's sleeping in here? Just some... Um, Stan Slaven. Hey. Who's Stan Slaven? Hello. I don't think I've ever run into you anymore, but you're a named character. Okay, you're Murawski's bodyguard. Uh, cause he's always got a guy standing with him downstairs. That must be who you are. Right, and never mind, I know who you are then. Right, into the armor. Let's head on south. Okay, so now I've got a fair way to go south, all the way through the city. In fact, I think I know what this is the perfect time for. One, actually, I'm not sure if the I'm not sure the vertebrae is even allowed to land in here. I'm just gonna step outside, because while I inside like within the bounds of a town that's within its own area, I don't know if the vertebrae are even allowed to land. But yeah, we're gonna call down a vertebrae to get us out of here, I'd say, because it's gonna be a long journey south otherwise. Now you see this here, this should be plenty of space for a vertebrae to land. Drop off one thing right there. Marvelous, and that will get us the vertebrae we need. Oh, I hear it. Getting closer, where are you, you beautiful flying bastard? There she is. Marvellous. Now she just needs to find a way to get down to me. Possibly she's decided to go and land over there in the common, if that's a bit easier. Apparently there was not enough space right outside. Good neighbour. Well, that's all 100% fine. I'm cool with that. 
In we go. And two things I want to do to the south. Obviously, we've got ourselves the hospital we want to visit. But we've also got Big John Salvage, the little kind of cleansing the Commonwealth mission we picked up. So we may as well head over here to that military checkpoint and see what we can do there. So let's go there. Marvellous. And I'm told I did not know this until people told me this in comments. I had no idea that you were allowed to be in third person in this thing. Are you allowed to fire? Yes, you can just fire. Marvellous. That's very, very cool. I had no idea that was a thing. That's really badass. Well, you know, I'll, I'll be in the first person because then, like, if I happen to see something that I think ought to die, I can make it die, which is convenient. So heading south out of Boston. Shouldn't be anything too bad in this area, to be honest. A couple of cars I can make explode if I feel like it. There we go. And we have touched down at the South Boston Military Checkpoint right on schedule. Hop straight out. Check I'm I'm immediately in danger. What from? What the oh 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 lasers. Lasers from Oh gunners have regenerated. Fine, critical. Bye. Oh, you're tough minds. Okay. That's a bit annoying. Um Yeah, apparently you're quite tough in there. Gunner conscripts are surprisingly tough as well. Just take a few shots at the leg. Right, missed all of them. Well done, me. Right, and throwable. And that's a flipping signal grenade. Oops. Right, just go for the double critical on the commander. Critical. Build up a critical against this guy. You're one of the lighter ones. Okay, we got anyone else around the back of me? No, good. And then we've got... I'm just calling in a vertebird right now. Just didn't even need to, really. But okay, 69% chance to hit. Yep. Two. Nice. I know the commander's still around here somewhere. They've taken down a lot of my health. Bloody hell. And I'm calling in a vertebrate that I don't want or need by accident. Oh, hello. You're finally there now. Lovely. Let's finish you off, Gunner Commander. You're a tough old guy, aren't you? Blimey and twitch to death. The game specifically said I'd cleared this place, by the way, which is why I decided to kind of fast travel back here because I thought it would be totally safe to, but uh, apparently not. Right, let's get some healing going on here, as I just took a fair bit of damage there. See if we've got anything. Ah, Stimpak and Radex. Get a quick hour's sleep right here. So, out of that, and close by to here, there should be some sort of junkyard or scrap area or something where, aha, super mutants need taking out. One brute, another brute. Yeah, it doesn't seem too bad. Dead. You don't know where I am at all. No, brackets still expanding. Going to be one up there that I'll be able to get eyes on in a sec. Another one dead. Marvellous. Problem is, because I haven't actually got close enough to trigger this as a location, that means the uh, the marker hasn't reset to kind of tell me which one is the leader. So I know there's going to be a tougher one in here somewhere. The question is, where is he? I'm guessing that's going to be him up there then. Okay, hang on. Let's do this properly. Proper sniper weapon. Critical. That should take you out in one go, my good man. One legendary super mutant butcher dead. Were you not the leader? Bloody hell if you weren't the leader. Now, I know there's another brute up there. One butcher over there. Fine. And then what have we got against you? We can get you with critical... There we are. Ooh, you survived that. Well flipping done. Right, let's go over to that guy and take care of him. Ooh, did they shoot down? I think they might have shot down the vert the second vertebrate I summoned there. Right, okay. And then just take you down nice and quick. We got another one of them somewhere, mind. I know there's another brute somewhere at least. There we are. One brute over there. And then he is. They're quite good actually going from staggers into running, which is surprising. Ooh, hello. What have you got? Whatever it is, I'm going to start shooting you a bit. Grind up some criticals against you because 82% chance is fine. There we go. Got two criticals back in the bag. So you had like an explosive something, but you shouldn't have done. Ooh. Unless you picked a legendary weapon off the dead legendary, are you allowed to do that? I don't know if they're even allowed to do that. No, he just had uh, both a hunting rifle and a short assault rifle, so I'm not sure... Maybe it was just a glitch I saw there. I'm not sure what kind of made it look like he was firing an explosive thing. It looked like he fired and then there was an explosion. Maybe he threw a grenade or something. No clue. I have killed a lot of super mutants, but apparently there's still bloody more stuff here. 
Are you the person I'm going? Oh, hello. What's going on here? Have I just stumbled across the firing range? That'd be cool. And then we got a brute over here. There we go. Got a good few shots in on you. Grind up the last of a critical against you just to finish you off. Nice. In danger, apparently. And now... The game is telling me where I'm supposed to be going. One more person potentially round here. Okay, fine. We either... I'm not going to be able to find that bloody legendary now. There's a lot of stuff around here. Hello. You in here? Ooh, you're an overlord. This here is exactly what all those criticals are for. Hello. And then one, two, three. And then the rest all into whatever. One. All right, that's one critical. Two. Alright, this is... Oh god, it's just shooting me repeatedly. And then another critical. Please shoot the gun out of his hands. Please just shoot the gun out of his hands. This is supposed to have a chance to disarm. And then just keep going. There we go. The really slow critical animation did not help. Ah, and there's even a Tales of a Junk Town jerky vendor here. You don't see that many of those. Permanently better prices when buying from a vendor. Marvellous. Right, let's get some healing going on here while I try and see if I can find where the bloody hell that legendary I sniped was. Unfortunately, oh bloody hell, I'm just exploding everywhere. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure 100% where he was and he's going to be very difficult to find because I can't even remember whether or not he disintegrated to ash or not. Well, I've been looking around but sadly I cannot find him, so whatever he had is lost to the ages. Ooh, I'll tell you what I did just find, however. Four fusion cores. I will take those and we may have to drop or deposit a few of them later. There may be too many to be carrying eight on me, given they are so bloody, uh... Yeah, they really weigh a lot. But, uh, nice to have at least. Yeah, I may have just accidentally kind of stumbled across a floor with my many, many criticals plan. Which is, my many, many criticals plan kind of disregards the fact that, uh... Critical animations is so slow, you don't necessarily want to get into a slugging match while doing it because I was indeed just, yeah, taking down, I lost like 80% of my health just while I was pretty much waiting for the animation to be done. Still, on the plus side, we've got a few sleeping bags and whatnot around here. Drop a quick hour's sleep. And now, straight across open ground, that there's the hospital right there. These two things are actually closer together than I thought they were going to be, which is good. What have we got down there? Got a military blockade down here. Sometimes that means pre-war robots, but sometimes that just means free power armor. And I see what looks like might be free power armor. Hello, what sort of power armor are you? Okay, this is roughly what I wanted to see at least a little bit. Thing is, I've already got the left, so what I need is the right. So I'm going to take the, uh, yeah, I'm going to take the right with me. I'm going to take that right leg. But sadly, there's no right arm. So, at least I've, like, got a one step closer to having a full set of X01 power armor. Even though it's still not quite perfect. But still, better than nothing. Now, also got to be really careful around here. This is Super Mutant Suicider Central. They're easy to take out as long as you see them coming. But, if they get on top of you, you don't see them. Or there's more than one or something. This can go wrong very, very quickly. Alright, high school, ignore that. I've no idea what's in there. I don't think I've ever been in there. Aha! Vertibird's doing the rounds. That I can do with. I can definitely see super mutants up ahead. Uh, might be able to snipe off one of them. There we go. Oh yeah. You are a suicider. You're a suicider. I'm gonna go for it. No! Oh, well I melted him. That's fine. Uh, who else have we got coming in? We've got... Just... Any suicides are fine. Suiciders, I'll just nail them in the hand as they try and come up to me. That's fine. I've got pretty good perception, so I'm in a fine position to just nail those guys as they come close. What else have we got? That's Fallons. Ignore that. If I can just work around them and ignore them, I will. There we are. I think, to be honest, they're distracted by that vertebrate, which will fire on them, which is good. Let's just sneak around here and see if I can get viewers to what's going on. That's a suicider, all right. That's the arm that's got the explosive in it. There we go. That will do at least a bit of damage to someone. Vertibird's circling overhead like crazy. More flipping suiciders yet, mind. And, oh, can we get a shot at the arm? 50-50 chance at the arm. Go for it. Come on. There we go. Nice. Now I'm in danger. 
Danger from what, mind? Just a brute over there. And then... Bird of Bird's just doing circuits. I think we're fine. I don't think anyone's going to be paying attention to me when there's two vertebrates overhead probably shooting down at them. In fact, from what looks like Gatling laser fire over there, I'm guessing that the Brotherhood have already landed and decided to come down and handle this on the ground. Which is good. And also, one of them appears to be spinning, which normally means they're about to fall out of the bloody sky. No, he's recovered. Excellent. He hasn't crashed. Or at least he might be. Has he? Not yet, anyway. And indeed, we do indeed have knights on the ground, though when I said they've got Gatling lasers, I may have been a little bit optimistic there. They've just got little crappy kind of automatic laser rifles instead. On the plus side... Ooh, blimey. On the plus side, if I can just not explode, feels like they're more or less in control of the situation, which is good. Got Fallon's department store there. Some fun stuff in there, but like not urgent to go into. We can definitely kind of skip it for now. I'd say we can leave these guys to it. I feel like they've got this under control. And instead, straight into the hospital, I think. Now, what can we do here? I know there's going to be, I believe there's one guy hidden around the back here. Who we can come across momentarily. Oh, I've just triggered his trap, in fact. Well done. There you go. You can just die now. Yeah, he actually triggered his trap, but he didn't hear me anyway. Marvellous. Well done. Oh, and I was drinking from the water fountain, but sadly that is irradiated water, so I probably shouldn't do that anymore. No. This area is... Well, it's, it's a fairly generic dungeon, really. I don't think there's anything desperately exciting about this area, so we will cut through this relatively quickly. Fragmentation grenade set and ready. Got ourselves one scaver right there. You'll go down in a single hit. Oh, you won't, because apparently... Apparently you flipping weren't taken by surprise by me, even though I was blatantly hidden. And you can just be taken out to a headshot or two. Marvellous. This is actually, interestingly, one of the quite a few instances of levels where, like, the shortcut, the Skyrim door, is actually you can drop through the roof later. I've always wondered, I wonder if you, if you had a jetpack, you could actually to use a shortcut there. You could actually cut through the Skyrim door backwards by going through an area you're supposed to drop down through. Possible, but I've never tested it myself. Oh, there we go. This is a good spot for a grenade right about there. And explosion. Oh, I see ya. And then one nice easy headshot for you. There we go. That did at least some damage. Then you're backing back in, aren't ya? Okay, yeah, they're backing back in. Round the corner, round the corner, round the corner. There you go. Level up from all of that. Caution, not danger. Marvellous. Nuka Quantum's all over this bloody place. I've picked up like three or four. Now, another hallway that I know is going to have some enemies in it. And, yep. Yeah. Fine. Grenade right in the middle. That'll do a good job. I want to say that'll do a good job. It did a terrible job. Oh, where'd that go? Okay, I didn't know whether that actually bounced there, but apparently it bounced into a convenient location. Oh, and now they've exploded. Well, that's nice. You see what I was saying earlier? This here around here, that's the uh, elevator to the end of the level. This here is a hole that leads back to the beginning. If you had a jetpack, presumably you could have just skipped by basically all of this level. You could just kind of skip all of it. Worth thinking about. In fact, apparently I'm tired, so I'm going to just sleep the night here. How many days has it been since Kent was kidnapped at this point? Like, two? Three? He's fine. He'll be absolutely fine. Just keep shoveling those noodles in. And time for a level up too, as we did level up a second ago. Now, what have we got this time? So we've maxed out Critical Banker, at least for the moment. Can't do any more of that for now. Well, that seems like a good time to take Demo Expert 4, given I do love it so. There we are. And with that done, on to the end of this... Wait, was there something in there? What was in there? Oh! Oh no, sorry, that was just part of someone's body. I thought there was something inside that ashtray there. Right, on to the end of the level, and... Well, this is going to go one of two ways, and I'm not sure which it's going to be. In fact, now I think about it, um, I don't want to do this in armour. Because the Shroud has some unique dialogue for this stuff. So just store some stuff in the bin there, and we'll come and collect that later. But yeah, we've got some business to do as the Shroud. Shroud! I want to talk with you! And here we go. And now you see we've got a bit of an issue. Which is, saving Kent is really, really, really difficult even when you can quick save and do it over and over again. And I can't. So what I'm going to do now is see just how tough is... Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Not a chance in hell. 
even with all these criticals, like, um, I think both Avery and Sinjin do shoot at Ken. So, what I'm going to do instead is an alternative solution to this quest, which is, um, there's nothing to stop me immediately murdering Kent. And if you do, there is, um, there's some unique dialogue. The reason I kind of want to show this off is because actually the dialogue's kind of fun, and the only thing Kent does is he kind of makes the Silver Shroud armor better, but even, like, at its max upgrade, it's nowhere near as good as Ballistic Weave, Undergear, and, like, various bits of armor. It just can't ever be. So, Kent's going to be killed uh, by my hand. There we go. So they now slightly panic and freak out. He's crazier than Sinjin. What do you so, and now I can intimidate as the Shroud. Turn against your master now, ne'er-do-wells, or face my rightful vengeance. What? Let's run. You're, you're going down now. And now all of his gang wanders off. They are now neutral and you don't have to bother fighting them anymore. It's now just him. So double against him and then everything else into the torso. So that's fine. Critical. One critical to the head. This will get about. And he's dropped his gun. Perfect. Critical. And now everything else into the chest. He doesn't have a gun anymore at this point. And then, oh, hang on. Let's just get, uh, let me make sure we've actually got the right line here. He's run off. Let's get my action points back and get a good angle going up here. Yeah, he's dropped his gun and he's left it. I don't know what he's planning to do next. Do you have a secondary gun? I think he's just picked up a worse gun there. Marvellous. Let's just grind up some criticals against him. There we go. Critical. Boom. There we go. Very, very nice. And keep on going. And hopefully we'll finish him off in a couple of shots. Down he goes. Beautiful. So there he is. And meet with Hancock. Oh, do I have to go meet with Hancock? Okay, well, I'm not doing that now. I can't be bothered. I'm not wasting two vertebrae grenades going there and back again. But yes, we also get 11 missiles. Nope, that's very heavy. I will, however, take all of the pre-war money and the grenades. Thank you. Hi. I never wanted to work for Sinjin. I love how they're making excuses now. And as for you, my good man, what do you have? You've got... Do you have a pipe bolt action pistol? That's not even that bad. And a trilby hat, but no head for it. So is that not just the saddest thing? Hey there. I don't want to die. There we are. All of them pretty much just begging for mercy at this point. Glorious. I'd say we just leave them down here. No need to clear out this hospital. It's as good as mine already. And then up we go. And we can just reclaim our armor and be out of here. And I think, ladies and gentlemen, with our armor reclaimed, that is more than enough for now. Next time, we will crack on further south. I think we need to go and find a new settlement so that we can rest up before our final little jaunt into the glowing sea itself. And then, yes, into the rads we go. So, that's next time, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been told this has been many a true nerd. This has been Fallout 4 Survival Mode. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Good dodge. Good dodge, man. Question is, can you keep it up, cop? Oh, no, you can't. Ooh, nice. Oh, didn't quite get that one, though. We are going to the gun store in style. Oh, where's my partner? Oh, he's not here. Oh, so long, loser.